world champion Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. Uh, Bueno, yo estoy muy contento de, de esta oportunidad que se me presenta. I'm so happy to be here in this opportunity that they give to me. Eh, quiero darle las gracias a la Sun. I want to thank you, the Sun. Eh, of course, Danny Jacobs. Eh, voy a prepararme muy duro para esta pelea. Eh, estoy muy contento de que se haya hecho posible la pelea. I'm going to be ready and going to train really hard for this fight, and I'm really happy because of this fight. Thanks, everybody. Thank you, Julio. Um, this man has been a pleasure to work with. He took the leap with us when we launched in Matron, pre Design. Um, <coughs> we continue that relationship now with Design through the Canelo Alvarez fight. He is, as far as I'm concerned, one of the great ambassadors of the sport of boxing. Uh, one of the great fighters, I believe a pound for pound great fighter in the sport of boxing as well. And I believe at 168 pounds, he's going to be a real force. When you look at the division at 160 pounds and 168 pounds on the zone, look at the amount of fighters that are there ready for mega fights, particularly the two 168 pound world champions, Billy Joe Saunders, who you'll see defend his title tomorrow night at the Staples Center. And of course, Callum Smith, who defends his world title on November the 23rd. They are two fights that are very easily made for the winner of this fight and Daniel Jacobs. And I want to bring up right now the former world middleweight champion, Daniel Jacobs. Thank you guys for being here today. I was excited to be back in the ring facing a um, stellar fighter in Chavez Jr. Great opportunity for me to display my skills at the super middleweight division. Um, I'm excited because I feel like I get an opportunity to be strong, go inside the ring, uh, fully healthy, uh, no excuses outside, and I think this is gonna be my showing. I think this is a great opportunity against the perfect opponent, perfect caliber of opponent, because styles make fights, and I feel like uh, he compliments my style very much, so. Um, I think the only thing that I can think about right now is just, you know, just how unforgiving the sport of boxing could be, you know. Sometimes, the thrill could be gone because you realize that boxing sometimes is more business than it is uh, you know, the, the dream that you once had when you first put the gloves on. And the person that comes to mind is my dear friend Patrick Day. You know, fighting with his spirit on my mind and in my soul is very tough and very challenging. I lost a very close friend of mine, and I lost him to this sport in which. We all praise and worship. Um, but in, I guess my message is that, um, man, it's just, it, it's really hard to move forward. I'm, I'm gonna have him in the back of my mind as my motivation, but to me, boxing is really not the same because of the things that I've gone through in my career. Um, I wanna maximize my full potential as far as being the best that I can be. And those who do support me, I want to be able to give you the greatest showing that I can possibly give. Um, and when it's all said and done, hopefully I'll be able to be a candidate for a Hall of Famer. And it start with fights like this and the, uh, the fights that I've had in my past. And I look forward to the future with the super middleweight division uh, kings. And I look forward to making myself one of the best. Um, thank you guys for being here. I'm sorry for the energy that I'm displaying, I'm not really at the best right now, but come fight night, you guys are gonna see a change, you're gonna see that difference, you're gonna see that desire that I always bring to the ring. So I thank you, I appreciate you, and I uh, hope I see you all on December 20th.